Hello, hello, my beautiful sacred masculines and anybody else who finds their way to this channel. Welcome to Deep Penetration with Star, the show where we dive deep into some really sexy topics, get in there and feel all around for the ultimate experience in sacred sexuality and awakening into the beautiful and gorgeous sensual and sexual energies that are so prevalent in our lives and that um, have been really shunned and shamed and perverted and distorted in our experience in our society in this day and age so we really get in there and move it all around to start opening up to some deeper 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 pleasure and experience and awakening and expansion liberation of these energies our sacred sensual and sexual energies liberating them so that we can really live the life that we truly desire deeply connected with our passion deeply connected with our sexual energy which is our life force energy it's our passion our creativity our inspiration our just action 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 from a heart-based place Mm, the color keeps changing as I move it and out apologies for that but I'm in a lot of sunlight so I'm just you know doing the best I can with that no really awesome awesome issue to have too much sun right mm. <laughs> and lush beauty I'm in Bali still in Indonesia and it's just gorgeous here gorgeous 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 so I've been reflecting on pleasure and each week here on this show we kind of dive into a specific topic and um, open it up, feel into it, and see where it wants to take us for, again, that liberation and expansion. So pleasure, pleasure. We've gotten a little, I was going to say disconnected, but we've kind of dove into pleasure in... Um, in an interesting way, I think um, we can chase pleasures that aren't really fulfilling and satisfying and nourishing, and we can also shut down our pleasure because um, for various reasons, you know, this can be family pressures, work career pressures, societal pressures that um, keep us in little boxes and keep us from following our passion and our pleasure, right? We think it needs to be a struggle, especially those of us that are on a spiritual path. We can attach to that idea that life needs to be a struggle I have to be and hard working is another thing that our society and I'm speaking of Western society but it's in other societies as well that we have to work hard we have to really nose to the grindstone to get anywhere really and the pleasure or enjoyment in our life comes much later like after retirement or such you know um, so we put off a lot of what we truly want to do and adhere to this like work 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 it's got to be you know, and life is a struggle, and to get anywhere, I have to really, you know, give up a lot of myself, so we adhere to that, and, um, or, or, or then, and when we do that, we can kind of attach to other pleasures that maybe aren't as healthy for us, um, pleasures, uh, like, too much alcohol, smoking too much anything, you know, drugs, alcohol, um, too much sex and in a way that's not really fulfilling and nourishing because sex is pleasurable, right? Of course, but, um, but we can get attached to some outlets and some forms of our sexuality that really isn't nourishing and fulfilling in a, a deep way, which is ultimately what we're looking for, I believe, <clears throat> even if we're not doing so consciously subconsciously unconsciously we are looking for a much richer deeper fulfilling connection um with ourselves with with mother earth with source with others with uh, our beloved with our partners a much deeper deeper it's not just that sexual pleasure it's not just that orgasm that we're going after you know if we were just going after that type of pleasure we wouldn't need to connect with others right we could just do that ourselves we could you know self-pleasuring and have all the orgasms we want it's a connection that we're looking for it's a different type of a much deeper pleasure you know that comes from being in union with another or in union with source in union with with the planet with mother earth with gaia with animals you know it's the other it's the other so um but yeah so we've gotten a real interesting um 
relationship with pleasure that can also be really distorted and strange and and we can shut ourselves down to that and I'm really excited about exploring that and opening it up for us what is pleasurable for us and how what is our experience to pleasure and do we feel worthy of it do we feel guilty about it do we embrace it do we open to it do we make time for it do we prioritize it do we recognize how important it is in our lives in our experience as humans we're here with all of these amazing senses in this gorgeous planet, on this gorgeous planet, to have pleasurable experiences, to know joy, to know love. I truly believe that. I think we've gotten way out of whack with that. We've gotten way disconnected from that. And again, so many people think life is a struggle. It has to be work, work, work. It's all um, struggle. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm lacking a, a different word for that, but that it needs to be hard and, you know, and it just, it just, it just doesn't. If we allow that belief system, if we adhere to that, then that's exactly what it's going to be for us because we are powerful, powerful, powerful beings and we create our own reality. If we adhere to that, life has to be a struggle. It absolutely will be. If we switch gears and say life is pleasurable and joyful and I'm here to experience beautiful amazing pleasurable things then it's going to be that right if we start aligning ourselves with that and that's what i have done and not in a hedonistic way this is not just like pleasure at, at all um with no wisdom to it you know no no consciousness to it it's not about that and that's certainly one path um to take but that's not what i'm talking about here i'm talking about the wisdom in pleasure of our bodies and pleasure of connection, pleasure of doing the things we truly enjoy and that light our hearts up. You know, the world is filled with a lot of fear-based negative energies. I don't tend to use negative and positive, but fear-based. Let's just stay fear-based and get away from the judgment call of negative and positive. Very fear-based energies of struggle and strife and um you know, so, so, um, uh, I just kind of lost my train of thought there. Um, oh, okay. And so, so a, a beautiful way to counteract that and to bring more beautiful, nourishing, fulfilling, loving energy into this 3D world and into our experience is to align more fully with pleasure, to allow pleasure, to seek pleasure, to open to pleasure, to recognize pleasure and to to embody it, embrace it, and, and, and really nurture that for ourselves. It's a, when we go into this struggle and fear-based mentality, we're just perpetuating more of that energy onto the planet, right? When we align with pleasure and allow pleasure and connect with it deeply, we're bringing more of that energy onto the planet. Again, this is how we create our own reality. We get to align with whatever we want to align with. So, um, and I, I've noticed my own experience as I'm here in Bali and just having a marvelous time eating all this gorgeous vegan organic food, which is something that I've aligned with in my life, N nutrition and nourishment in that sense and food is very important to me. So, you know, I very and fully intentionally aligned with that, with beautiful food experiences. Um, and uh, just getting like massages and body work and body care which is another thing that you know we're in these these bodies we need to care for them and love them and nurture them so something that's very important to me that i align with is caring for my body and pampering it and getting it like touched and and the sensations of it the sensuality of it again the sensuality is what we're really we're talking a lot about sensuality here on this channel which is our bodies and how we experience this 3d world through our senses so for me being here all the tastes the touch the feel the the, the sights the um the smells everything there's gorgeous incense all over the place from all the different offerings that people make offerings um, at their homes and at the doors of their establishments. So there's incense just wafting through all, all over the place and it's exquisite. So <clears throat> all of my senses are alive here. And that's another thing that I really seek out is how, how do I really 
um, open to all of the amazing sensations that this body is capable of because again I believe that's why we are here on this planet to experience it through our bodies it's not about shunning and shaming it's not about escaping the body which a lot of people can get lost in or or focused on in um, on a spiritual path like it's transcending the body I don't feel that's why we're here on this planet we didn't come into a body just to try to escape the body <laughs> that just makes no sense to me and again that that seems to work for some people and that's their path that's great that's just not what we're talking about here on this channel I'm really about coming into the body and experiencing the body and utilizing the body for experiencing this gorgeous world to experience pleasure and joy to know love to um, awaken it's a vehicle for ascension and awaken but ascension meaning our vibrations not ascending out of the body ascension in like raising our frequency raising the vib vibrations so we are able to align more fully with what it is we truly desire and and long for and um and our passion what really speaks to us and that gorgeous sexuality again like that's part of why we're here it's a huge part you look at nature you look at mother earth you look at gaia you look at all the plants and animals it's all a very sexual experience it's all connections and you know look at the even the bees you know it's a very sexual energy going from from flower to flower pollinating and collecting and experiencing and just all the gorgeous energies and the nectar and like ooh, that's <laughs> that's stunning and exquisite and all the animals I think of the birds right now with the the male birds doing the dance for the female birds you know they're just getting into their thing and being all sexy and sensual for the female and the females like oh yeah that's really doing it for me yeah let's do this thing you know it's sexy 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 sensual energy everywhere we look everywhere we look and we are a part of nature we are not separate as we've been you know led to believe like we're destroying the planet we don't belong here you know all that mm -mm. It, what's destroying the planet is our belief that we're separate from the planet and then we don't act in accordance with understanding that we are part of this gorgeous planet we are part of the whole that and once we know that we don't want to destroy it any longer because we recognize our place in it and that we absolutely belong here this is our home why would we want to destroy it why would we want to do anything to 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 um, put it in jeopardy you know that's the perversion that's what that that that's the problem that's the issue I don't like to use the word problem that's the challenge you know but our belief that we're separate is 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 the issue really again I, I know I just kind of went on a little rant there but oh coming back into the sensuality and sexuality of Gaia of the planet of our experience of these human bodies we are extremely sensual sexual creatures feel into that you know it's how we came onto this planet we came here through the act of sexuality connection union sacred union that's how we came here oh my gosh <laughs> that's like that to me that blows my mind when we when we understand we came from that act of sex and yet we're shunning and shaming that act and and our sexual energy and our sexual our sexuality that's it's a huge disconnect that's a huge 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 issue <laughs> you know recognizing the beauty of our sexuality the beauty of our sensual energy the beauty of pleasure we're not just here to procreate without experiencing the pleasure of it it's not just about that it, it, it makes no sense why would we be here on the planet just to come here and to procreate to recreate more of us to destroy the planet and to ascend out of the body there's no it makes no fucking sense <laughs> we came here to me to me this is how I view it you know of course you might view it very differently that's great that's totally okay <laughs> this is what we're talking about here on this channel if that doesn't align with you either keep listening and maybe open your perspective and, and shift that if, if that if you feel called to it to, to, to look at a new perspective or um or or you know there's other channels that, that might speak to you I just got a comment yesterday about somebody um somebody made some comment on on one of my videos that clearly it wasn't resonating with him and that's great that's great I'm not trying to speak to everybody 
this is how I feel. This is what I'm sharing. This is what what I'm 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 opening us up to. If we're interested, and if it's not your thing, not a problem. You know, that's no big deal. But I think there's a lot to this. I think there's a lot to us coming back into our bodies, recognizing the gorgeous, 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 gorgeousness of our sexuality and our sensuality, and um, bringing more consciousness to it recognizing where it's gotten out of whack and where we've taken on some belief systems that that don't support us being in our body that don't support us being here on this planet that don't support our sexual expression because we can't just jump forward to okay yeah i'm gonna be in my body now and i'm gonna be in my sexual energy Unfortunately, we've taken on a lot of shit that we kind of have to sift through and move through and, 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 and understand at, at a lot of different levels, body, mind, and spirit, to, to know how to kind of navigate and move through them and clear them in a healthy way. You know, we, we can't just jump to the, the um, yes, I'm in body, I love my body, I'm totally in pleasure, and um, yeah, my sexuality is sacred. <laughs> it's great, but we got, we got some work to do. It's taken me a long time to really like fully start embodying all of this and, and really understanding it at a deep level and understanding how much I took on unconsciously. It's just growing up in a society growing up in our family systems, growing up in the religions, the dogmatic religions that, that don't support the body, don't support sexuality, you know, for the most part. Um, we've just taken on a lot, very unconsciously. So we have to utilize our consciousness and utilize various practices to move through that and to clear it out. So um, that's just, it's part of the journey, you know, and, it, and if that speaks to you, welcome. I'm so grateful that you're here because that's all that we're doing here. That's It's just so much about that. You know, this is... Um, ultimately it is about the spiritual awakening and the spiritual path and the spiritual journey but I find going through sexuality and through our bodies is really powerful because there's so much distortion around those areas so when we come into it through here through our sexuality through our sensuality through celebrating and cherishing the body and starting to really come into the body and just starting to mm, really big things can open up for us body mind and spirit you know really big things so that's just that's just my in you know that that's 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 been my in I just have a thing around sexuality and our sexual energy I think it's gorgeous it's 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 amazing it is what makes the world go around as I was talking about earlier it is what brings us here it, it is we're, we're deeply deeply sexual beings I mean I don't know about you but I'm like sexually attracted to so many people things experiences just like I get so turned on I get so excited I get so passionate I get so mm, and I want to be in union with all these things all these things not just people but with experiences with with my food with you know with with source with spirit with mother earth with Gaia I want to be in union I want to be deeply connected I want to I want to penetrate and I want to be penetrated by all of this penetrating deep like we're talking about here right I want to just like mm, marinate in it I want to know it at the deepest level I want to know all of these experiences at the deepest level body mind spirit soul heart love pleasure passion inspiration creativity I want to know it at the deepest levels of my being and that's why I came here onto this planet is to really dive in, dive into this body, dive into your body. Just ooh, enjoy pleasure, 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 love, love, love. Whew. <laughs> mm, that's sexy. Mm, getting myself a little excited there. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so. In this show, if this is your first time here, we go into the uh, tarot cards to just open up to the wisdom more deeply and more fully. I wonder if <laughs> the color scheme is changing for you because it gets warmer and cooler, warmer and cooler. So <laughs> in the video, the lighting, I've tried to move the, the screen around a little bit. If I get closer, it gets a little warmer. If I move back, it gets a little cooler. So. I could stay right up here and then it's really warm <laughs> so hi okay so anyway um my videos are unedited maybe someday i will have an editor to edit out funny stuff like that and i'll have a better camera i bought one but i actually ended up liking my mac camera better so um 
stay tuned and we'll watch the journey of technology unfold as we move along this journey as well. So, um, but let's go to the Tarot to see what wisdom it has to share with us and how we can open this up even more fully. And stay tuned because we will continue to explore this. I think it's huge. I think it's huge. Um, really important for us, again, for all the reasons I don't need to say it again. So, <laughs> thanks. All right, beautiful cards. Mm. We have this beautiful on the bottom of the deck. We have the two of cups, which is, look at that. It's the sacred feminine, sacred masculine, giving and receiving to each other. There's that pleasure there. The cups is all about um, our emotions and intuition. It's the feminine energy and it's feeling. It's just, mm. and yeah, pleasure, right? I mean, and look at, they're just, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous card to, to be. And it's, look at over here, and the, 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 I don't know how to say that, caduceus, caduceus, caducus. Um, it's, it's like a, um, I'm thinking of that as a, a few different things. There's um, an internal energy, but it's a healing energy. There's a, the union and the coming together and it's a, and moving into this divinity and beautifully supported over here by this kind of lion angel, which is kind of a fierce, passionate energy, right? Um, it's just, it's just a gorgeous card. It's a gorgeous card. So beautiful, beautiful for what we're talking about here, right? Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, Father, Son. Thank you to all of our archangels and angels. Thank you, spirit guides and helpers, wisdom beings, all the beautiful, beautiful energies and frequencies we connect with to support us on our path. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Gaia. Thank you to our beautiful bodies and our souls for coming here to experience this amazing planet and all of the sensual energy. Mm. What wisdom do you have to share with us today to help us open into and go deeper in, penetrate more deeply into pleasure, into this topic, into the wisdom of pleasure, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, there's three, I think oh, I'm feeling that almost feels complete. Ooh, one more. <laughs> Woo, and a whole bunch came out. <laughs> okay, shoot, I just wanted one. Um, okay, great. Oh, shoot, okay. <laughs> All right, well, we got a whole bunch here, so we're just going to go with it. Yes, 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 yes. So, the divine has a lot to share on this subject, apparently. So, are you ready to get in there with me? Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, okay, so let me just, I tend to dive in, but let me just take a moment to, um, to connect and open. Hmm. It seems very clear, really, so much of this. So, we've got this huge celebratory card, and it's initiatory. Initiatory? Is that a word? Um, the Four of Wands. Look at these people celebrating, and there's the 1111 there. It's this um, kind of manifestation portal and ready to initiate into this realm of pleasure in a wisdom way, right? The divine here coming through is like, I feel like really celebrating what we're talking about right now and very excited about it and just like yes go that route you know open into the wisdom of pleasure there's so much wisdom in pleasure again bringing that energy onto the planet and just changing the whole way that we approach our lives and approach our bodies and approach relationships approach um how we experience the world right it's just a whole different way when we focus on pleasure but the wisdom of it in, um, in, in a deep connection with the earth and with our bodies and with our spirituality and with our passion, it really opens things up. It's not about, again, a hedonistic thing where we just throw everything away and just like follow, you know, 
addiction, pleasure, whatever, you know, this is more about, it's the new earth consciousness. It's a, it's a total reframing of how we've done it. You know, we're out of the dark ages. We're moving out of the Kali Yuga. We're just, it's a different way to experience life. And it, without the oppression and the fear-based energies and the heaviness, you know, what happens when we just open to the true love and beauty and pleasure that we are and that we're here to experience? What happens when we bring that energy through and align with that? It's going to come out and connect everybody with everybody and everything that we touch when we're in a heart-based, pleasureful experience instead of fear and shame and guilt, you know? It, it's going to drastically change our earth. It's going to drastically change our experience, our own personal lived experience and that of the collective. When we refocus, moving out of this, like, it has to be a struggle, you know, it has to be humans are here to struggle and to suffer, that, I don't want to align with that anymore, you know, I very consciously decided that some time ago, it's just like, you know what, it is not my fucking story anymore, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it, and my life has opened up beautifully and drastically and it's just so it's so freaking different you know I, I move about my day in such a different way and I experience the world so differently and things are showing up in my world that drastically support that and 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 show me how how well I have aligned with a whole different way look at where I'm at and look at I mean it's just I, I I won't I won't get lost in that but this is like the proof the proof is in the pudding right I mean here I am and living a life of my dreams from shifting my consciousness shifting my focus shifting how I uh, how I experience the world making very conscious choices and decisions doing the work to clear out the old shit you know like I said before we can't just jump into like I'm just going to be in love and light I kind of tried that myself, and it doesn't really work. You got to, you got to move through the shit. So, but then look at this: the whole world is at our fingertips when we do this. The whole world, and that's what I'm feeling right now. Because for me, you know, travel and uh, experiencing the world is huge for me, and something that I've you know very fully aligned with. And um, but what is the world to you? What is it to you? What is this world of pleasure? What's what's a what's a, a pleasurable, fulfilling, nourishing? sensual passionate world for you what is it for you we each have a different you know different passion different purpose so what is it for you but it's there it's here it's here and the the wands are a spiritual fire transformative energy so what's ready to transform for you you know as you step into this is also transformative energy as you step into this what is on what is on offer for you where are you going into you need to sit with yourself and just open to it sit sit and like what really what does bring me pleasure and this is not just about sexuality again i use that as a doorway in because it's huge for us it's absolutely huge it's fundamental to our lived experience again it's how we came into this world sexuality is huge so that's my in. That's where I start. That's where I open up. But it, it's everything. The sexual energy is everything for me. <laughs> so what happens when we really open into that? When we really open into that? And then it moves into this King of Cups, which is just gorgeous. This guy is like totally in control of his emotions. He's moving from a very powerful place of intuition and connection to his both his feminine and his masculine he's mastered it you know he's in touch with his feelings he's in touch with his pleasure he's in touch with how he wants to experience the world and he's just owning it and rocking it out right it's not too in his head he's he's got it all going on here he's got it all going on this world is a very feminine energy again we've gotten a little a little uh disconnected from that being too in our um, masculine in our mind too much but this guy is fully in his pleasure, fully rocking it out. He's a master. He's a master of his world. That's where we're heading to. How do we embody this? How do we step into this? How do we step into this? Well, it's by letting go of all of these old belief systems that have been shunning and shaming pleasure, shunning and shaming the body, shunning and shaming our sexuality and our sensual pleasure. Time to let go. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. So where are you ready to let go of some unhealthy belief systems? They're just being cleared out right now. And maybe you're recognizing that as we're moving into this beautiful, pleasurable energy, connecting with a more joyful way of being in this world, 
a lot's being cleared out right now. A lot of the heavy darkness is being cleared out of the planet right now. So we're just done. We're just done. And where can you just really let go and recognize, like, you know what? I don't need to align with some of that shit anymore. It's just not serving me. And that's what I decided for myself some time ago. It's just like, why do I want to keep aligning with this belief of suffering and struggle and ask to be hard work and I have to do, do, do to get here? Like, I, what happens if I just try on a different belief system? What happens when I let go of that? What happens when I drop that shit? What happens when I quit shunning and shaming? this, that, and the other, especially my body and my desire to be in sacred union with the masculine. What happens when I just embrace what turns me on and go towards it? This is what happens. You start creating your own reality and a reality that you truly want to live in. And this is the fool, and he came out upside down, but the fool is like, new beginnings, let's go. He doesn't give a fuck. He's like, I might fall off the cliff, but I'm just ready to go, you know? I'm ready for some fresh new energies. But look, the sun is shining on him. Just like, yeah, and his little doggy's like, let's go. <laughs> so he's ready to go. He's ready to go. Where, where are you just ready to go? Like, ready for this new beginning. And since it was in reverse, maybe it's an internal. Maybe you're, again, with those belief systems, you're ready to shift and move out, you know? Where are we ready to let go of this old shit? Again, it's just time. It's time. Let's let go. Let's let go. Let's let go. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> the star card. This is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at she's deeply connected to. Is that deep again? The the her element, the water, the the nourishment, the the fulfillment, the emotions, the intuition of the feminine, and deeply connected to the earth. And she's just like pouring into pouring into herself really this is a gorgeous spiritual energy and there's all these stars that are just lighting her up and it's a really it's that sacred feminine look at she's in pleasure she's naked and just feeling the pleasure of the water and the earth celebrating she's no longer burdened by all the heaviness that we have to cover ourselves with cover ourselves she's naked she's not ashamed she's just rocking it out in her pleasure she's feeling it you know it's gorgeous. Let's drop all that shit and just start owning it. And look at, here's the balance that's coming in, you know, this balance. And there's so much balance between, um, I'm thinking, wisdom and pleasure. The balance of that, you know, and bringing more pleasure into our life to balance it out with our day-to-day -day lives and, and what we might consider work, however that shows up for you. You know, we need to have the pleasure. We need to have that as part of our lives. We need to express our sexuality. We need to express our sensual energy. We need to do that. How does that show up for you? And it doesn't have to be having sex with a partner. It doesn't. It's, it's our passion. It's our creativity. It's our life force energy. How are you expressing it? What are you passionate about? What are you pouring that energy into? Or is it repressed and hidden and shunned and shamed and just like mm, really dampened? You know, when we're um, when we're disconnected from our sexual energy and when we've uh, shunned and shamed it, you know, our, our sacral chakra, our lower chakras can get really shut down and then we're not expressing in any way, you know, and it's uh, and we have a hard time being in our passion. We don't even know what it is. We have a hard time. Like I hear people like I am not creative. That's a shut down sacral chakra, root chakra. That's just like because their passion isn't flowing through. It, humans are creative we are creative life force energies but when we get very shut down we shut down that energy yeah we feel like i'm not creative i'm not doing anything i'm not putting out into the world i'm not like aligned with my passion i don't even know what it is you know this is um <laughs> kind of got off on a thing there but we <laughs> that's funny um <laughs> and now i lost my train of thought but <laughs> we got to bring in more balance, open to the balance and the justice. Okay. So the justice, it's coming around. It's coming around. Things are opening up in a big way. And this is, we are coming back into our bodies. And if you're here watching this, you're part of this experience and you're part of this process for humanity and for the planet, a, a rebalancing of the scales because it's been way too far off on one side, way too far into the masculine, way too far into suffering, way too far into fear. You know, we got to come back around into love and to the feminine and into our issue intuitions and our feelings and to celebrating our sexuality and to our sexual energy. And so much of our sexual energy has been shut down. And it's, it's just the repression is just 
it, it's not doing well for us. It's not going well. So, but the justice is coming around, and, and we're we're it, we're swinging back to the other side, and we don't go too far into the other side either. We can't get lost into too far into the feminine. It's not about that. It's finding a balance, the balance that works for ourselves, each of us individually, right? The feminine, the masculine, the pleasure, and other experiences of work, but or not work, but life. Everything can be pleasurable. That's that's huge. And then on the bottom of the deck, we had the high priestess, which is the 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 sacred feminine wisdom. When we allow pleasure, intuition, emotions, and feelings, our bodies. When we allow the sacred feminine. When we allow more of that. There is deep, deep, deep deep wisdom that we've been shut off from because we've been too disconnected from the feminine. So when we go through this process, when we allow all of this, when we allow the pleasure, we allow our bodies, we allow our sexual and sensual energies, and we start learning how to open up to those and we start clearing out that which is not serving us and hasn't served us, deep, deep, deep wisdom comes about. There's deep wisdom in our bodies. There's deep wisdom in our senses and our sensuality. There's deep wisdom in connection to the earth. There's deep wisdom in our sexual energy. Profound wisdom when we when we start connecting and tapping in. So this is what's on offer for us. And we started off talking about that, right? The wisdom of pleasure, the wisdom of pleasure. And what's happened because we've shut it down or we've distorted it. Pleasure for us comes in some really strange forms that aren't really fulfilling at a deep, deep core level. That says it all right there, right? I mean, it's just really beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. And I thank you cards for supporting us so beautifully. So I, I pray that sparked some things for you and opened up some things and helped you to um, supported you to see pleasure in a, in a more expansive way and to open into that more and 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 um, reflect on your own relationship with pleasure what is that is there a wisdom in it are you feeling the wisdom in it or is it just more of perhaps a hedonistic experience or perhaps something that you've shunned and shamed and not allowed yourself perhaps something that you've judged Maybe you judge your pleasure or your need for pleasure or desire for pleasure or you've judged how you want to experience pleasure. There's so much judgment around our sexual energy and how it wants to express, right? Again, that comes from society telling us what's right or wrong, how it should look, how it shouldn't look, what's proper, what's appropriate. Like a lot of us have... <laughs> desire for sexual expression that's not deemed appropriate so we really um you know take that in in a heavy hard way and 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 it causes a lot of suffering for us right until we liberate that let's liberate that let's um allow the pleasure allow expression allow different avenues for that pleasure mm. Whew. i think that is quite stunning that feels really lovely. Um, yeah, I think we'll just leave it at that. Um, beautiful. I know I could talk more. Sometimes we go to the oracle cards for, for a little bit more, but I think I'm feeling complete with that. And I think that gives us a lot to open up into and to, to, um, to explore and to chew on and savor and swim around in. So... Thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, be sure to check out m more of my YouTube channel for um, continued exploration into sacred sexuality and um, moving out of some of that fear-based sexual energy and really opening in into pleasure, opening into the wisdom, opening into the gorgeous divine experience of our sexual and sensual energy and of coming into union with each other and and into self-pleasuring you know as we're talking about pleasure here 
that just came through self pleasuring how can you that's a really beautiful powerful meditation to just really connect with your own body more and to maybe prioritize that for a time being and really allow yourself to feel into your pleasure more feel into where you do or do not experience pleasure a lot of us can be very shut down in our bodies and very numbed out so you know if that's your experience that's something um to to explore and open into and utilizing breath work techniques which stay tuned i'm going to have some of those available for us to um to start to start playing with that's a beautiful powerful way to open up our sexual energies um uh, again clearing the belief systems really helps to move out of numbness and um uh, challenges around experiencing pleasure and and sensual energies um uh, I just kind of lost my frame. Oh, the self-pleasuring. That's right. That's right. Um, this is something that you can do on your own and just, just feel into your body and feel and recognize what comes up for you when you are self-pleasuring. Are you too in your mind? Are you disconnected from your body? Are you in fantasy? Are you allowing yourself to really feel your, your, yourself, your own, your own body? Are you, um, are you allowing a bigger experience of your sensuality? Are you, are you allowing the energy to flow through you? Are you maybe hyper focused in the genital area, which a lot of us, you know, can tend to be? Can you open that up, open that sensual energy up through your entire body and really feel into all of it? I talk about this quite a bit because um, we can learn a lot about our belief systems around our relationship to sexuality, our sexual and sensual energy, uh, our relationship with pleasure, with the way that we self-pleasure and the way that we connect to ourselves when we're alone and by ourselves. We can really notice where, where tension or emotions or or, or shame or guilt comes up for us and, and those are very big indicators this is something that we can do on our own at our own leisure uh, very simple um, it, you know it, and just reflection and just open like like what is coming up for me when I'm when I'm feeling into myself am I able to just let go and just freely feel pleasure and just be in that moment and just savor it and just mmm or Am I attached to outcome? Am I worried about this? Am I in a hurry because I'm afraid somebody might catch me, you know, catch me? That that That's a thing, you know. Am I feeling guilty for taking this time to myself? Am I celebrating myself? Am I feeling, you know, whatever? What comes up? And that, that really shows you. It gives you a good baseline of where you're at with your sexual and sensual energy. So really good practice and really amazing way to just help open up the energy for yourself when you can start to change your experience of how you self-pleasure and um and really notice where you're holding and just allow yourself to to savor it more to be in it more and see how you can open and expand that energy and breathe it through right breathe it through mm -hmm. mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And um, yeah, breath work. Breathe into those spaces that you're connecting and, and touching wherever your hand is touching yourself. Put your consciousness there and breathe into that space and just allow the energy to flow. And again, if there's numbness there, if there's tension, just continue to breathe into it and try to relax and open it up. Don't judge yourself. Don't shun and shame yourself. Just notice notice where you're at notice what you're feeling try not to be into in try not to be in judgment or criticism of yourself that's only perpetuating the energy is just recognize like look here's where i am this is where i'm at that's okay that's okay that's okay we don't continue that mental we don't need that we don't need that we don't need that judgment of ourselves just allow recognize and open breathe into yourself breathe into yourself Allow the tension to release and breathe light into that space. If you want to visualize healing light, healing golden light to release any tension that's in your body. You know, this is a beautiful meditation with your self-pleasuring. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Getting myself all excited right now. <laughs> so lovely. Mm. 
beautiful energy and see that that is like I just feel my own sexual energy is just moving through just talking about and connecting with you all and it feels gorgeous it's gorgeous and this is my passion connecting with you sharing with you I love it I love it it turns me on it lights me up Whew. <laughs> okay so there's some meditation for you to practice with if you if you would like to explore this further and open into your pleasure and your sensual energy a bit more yay and um be sure to check out my website for so many more resources and we have um, a big 12-week program getting started here in the beginning of june depending on where you're coming to this that's really gonna deep dive into all of this and and releasing all of these unhealthy belief systems that are getting in the way of your passion of your pleasure of your sexual energy you know we've deeply embodied so much of this deeply 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 embodied and and we need to move through it and again we can't just jump to the end we can't just jump into pleasure and go okay everything's good now because i'm aligning with pleasure unfortunately we got to move through some stuff we got to sift through and wait through and do some real clearing you know that's just it's energy it's just the way it is you know we can't spiritually bypass we can't mentally bypass we can't just affirm our way into you know, there's a lot that's gone into this, into these belief systems, you know, um, at the collective level, at the familial level, at the societal level, um, religion, you know, schools, we've taken on so much. And then at our own personal level, we've taken on so much. And we just, it's all this conditioning and limitation and just, we're in this little box and, and we need support um, getting out. I thought there was a little spider getting out of the box and it is a journey and this 12-week program is all about helping you to get out of your box and with all the tools and, and energy restoration sessions to m clear the energy right to clear it you know we need to work at that level so this is um helping you to align with uh, once we move out of that you know it's discovering like what is really your passion what what do you want to align with you know we've been aligning with unhealthy stuff for so long and healthy belief systems what what do you what turns you on what speaks to you what do you want your life to look like and and how do we get there you know so it's all the tools for that and and like i said energy um energy support around that and uh so many tools and one-on-one -on -one sessions with me every week so it's uh we really get into it we really 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 deep dive into it it's a very personal program because i think we need that real personal connection you know that's what speaks to me um so it's i'm with you right there the whole way through it's a gorgeous 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 program and i have beautiful testimonials on my website for men who have had just drastic and changes and transformation going through this and liberation you know liberation from the old way of being old belief systems that weren't serving into healthy gorgeous beautiful belief systems and and, and ways to move into what they truly want in their lives and what really lights them up and what really you know they're passionate about and speaks to their soul and really aligning with a healthier sexual energy flow and and mm, it's just it's a gorgeous program and really exquisite so link below to to um to to learn more about that and reach out when you're ready to to enroll in that again we get started in june and and it's a beautiful cohort forming already so this is a perfect time and the energies are right for it and then um and then of course uh we have the authentic tantra and sacred sexuality pilgrimage to india in november again link below learn all about that i'll, I'll I, i'm already getting a little long so we'll talk more about that later but when you're ready to really get into your sensuality and um really explore that india is a gorgeous place for opening up our spiritual path and because the energies are so rich and it's just exquisite and stunning and deeply 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 transformative so um not for the faint of heart so when you're serious and you're ready to be fierce about your spiritual growth and your your um your pleasure growth right that's the that's the the pilgrimage for you so um, and then so many more resources on my website to support you in your sacred sexuality journey, including one-on-one -on -one sessions with me where we can dive into sensual pleasure and really opening that up and experiencing that together in sacred union. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous offering. Whew. <laughs> and also um, 
sex magic ritual if you want to dive into that as well utilizing and harnessing our sexual energy that we create for setting intention really opening it up to align you with what you truly desire and your passions and purpose all descriptions are on my website to explore those one-on-one -on -one, uh, sensual sexual sacred sexuality sessions so uh, check that out and um yeah thank you everybody for being here please like comment and subscribe um i was gonna say don't comment if you're gonna be a butthead like that last person was but <laughs> but you know what if that's what you need to do whatever so uh, everything's welcome right it's just part of our world so and no judgment <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I, I personally want to bring love and, and, and beauty into the world versus, you know, more judgment and criticism. But yeah, again, everybody's aligned with something different, right? And that's okay. That's our world. So, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, thank you to those of you who have donated, made donations to support this channel. I'm just, I'm so appreciative and that just like really... Oh, my heart is full and, and, and nourished and, and I'm appreciative of your support. So thank you so much for that. And um, yeah, wishing you all just so much, um, so much pleasure, so much pleasure, the wisdom of pleasure as you move forward on your sacred sexuality journey. So bye all.